Hello Chocks and Chockettes, Lennon and Tween, Choc Alberts here for another video review, this time after Jaffa Cakes Passion Fruit. Yeah, so it's not a limited edition by the looks of it, it doesn't say, well I can't see it's a limited edition anyway. Um, that's really good, yeah, so uh, McVitie's basically have just done a, well past year, maybe a year maybe, they've done loads of, maybe two, they've done loads of, um, well not loads, but they've done a, a good few different flavours of Jaffa Cakes, I think, uh, yeah, and um, which had been done elsewhere by other companies for quite some time really, you know, maybe, you know, own brand stuff or just more European sort of centred um, companies, things like this, you know, Vidal for instance, you know, and they've just sort of seemed to have, yeah, decided they need to, I don't know, for whatever reason, just start branching out, and it's, I don't know why it's taken them so long, really, it's, it's an obvious um, medium for them to just do loads of different flavours, you know, Jaffa Cakes, um, although I guess, you know, maybe you could say that the original is just so nice, you know, um, it's just one of those evergreen flavours, isn't it, but, uh, hmm, I don't know, I think um, I'm quite pleased to see these new ones. I must say, though, having said all this, you know, it's one of those where, you know, you say all that, but I've, I'm yet to really taste a sort of new flavour that they've done that's really been better than the original. Um, so we'll see if this one is. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm interested in it, that's for sure. So it says new, of course. It says, um, right, there we go. So what does it say? Turn up the vibe, turn up the flavour. Um, turn your afternoon into a tropical pool party. <laughs> all without leaving your desk. There we go, okay, well, not sure about that, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be nice. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's any other description on it? I mean, you know, yeah, it looks quite nice. Quite nice sort of, sort of like this party vibe going on. Party, it's got speakers on it and, I don't know, fruity. There's those weird shade things. I don't wear those type of sunglasses. I've never, I can't see what the point of them is, but <laughs> anyway, maybe people do. Um, I'm not one of them. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. So uh, yeah, what's for healthy balance.com. So per 100 grams, it's uh, 375 calories, 8 grams of fat, 4 of which are saturates. So that's uh, my usual thing for chocolates. They seem to be between five and 600 calories per 100 grams. So this is well below that. So um, as a treat, they're not too bad. Per cake, 12.2 grams. It's 46 calories, 1 gram of fat, 5 of which are saturates, which is generally the case with Jaffa cakes. So usually you know, maybe, maybe, maybe 50 calories at most, but um, yeah, these are about the same with the fat. There's a description there, McVitie's Jaffa Cakes. Chocolates on top, sponge on the bottom, and a tangy passion fruity bit in the middle. There we go. This is 10 light sponge cakes with dark crackly chocolate and a passion fruit flavour centre. Not bad, not bad, yeah. It's got palm and uh, shea fat in it. There we go, there's palm. So bear that in mind. Just on the left of my finger there, just look at it. Yeah, dark chocolate, 19%. Um, oh, it keeps uh, zooming in and out. It's not much, yeah, not much going to do that about that. Two good number of cakes per pack, 10. Super vegetarian, there we go. All right, well, I think it looks very nice. It sounds very tasty and exciting. <laughs> of course, you know, it's just branding, really. But let's, uh, let's give it an open, see what they look like. Let's do it. <laughs> right, okay, let's give these uh, passion fruit flavoured Jaffa cakes an open. Look very exciting, as I say. Fruity, even, yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, let's give them an open then. So I've done about, seven, about 740, 750 reviews now, time recording. So if you uh, like this review, and uh, after you've liked the video and subscribed to the channel, <laughs> there'll be a place in the top left or top right corner. I think top right, actually, um, as you look at it. Um, yeah, of all my other reviews, so check those out. <laughs> Usually appreciate it. Leave a comment up here as well. Always great to hear from you. So here we go. So have we got 10 in the pack? It looks like we've got 10. Yes, we do. We do have 10. That's not bad. We can clearly see here, you know, where... Uh, it's got the usual flourish problem, hasn't it? You can see. Can you see? Oh, best to show you. Uh, now the only problem is it's going to open. Like I said, I want to keep that bit closed. Uh, there we go. So yeah, so if you see there, you can clearly see you could easily fit another three or four. Let's say, yeah, four. I think it's not unfair to say four Jaffa cakes into there. Maybe three. You know, there's only ten, so it's a good third of the box basically, three or four, third of the box. I'm not being unfair there, you know, yeah. So a bit disappointing that, I think you'd say, but they do say there's 10 in there, even so. Okay, so we do have the, the calipers here. Let's go for, let's go for accuracy, shall we? Why not? Yeah, so just check how we're, where the, uh, it's all about one point. 1.2, 1.3 centimetres there in height. And the, well, not circumference, the diameter. We'll just do one side, of course. I mean, so there's a chance it could be slightly differently, different, but uh, it's meant to be a circle. So 5.4 centimetres in diameter. 
Okay, and then we'll just do a rough one, rough height. Well, to be honest with you, if you look at it, I don't think you can quite tell. It does lump up at the side on one. I was going to measure the height there, but you can see it's not quite flat anyway. Um, we'll just do here. Yeah, in fact, it's a bit pointless to do a side. We'll do well, just for the sake of it. It's about about uh, yeah, about a centre. Well, that's not, mm. yeah, it's about about a centimetre. Yeah, okay, well, not, that's not too accurate. That. That's from you know not counting the dome at the top. Okay, let's give it a bit of a chop then. So we're uh, not quite sure what the colour will be and inside of this. Yeah, I don't know what passion it would really be. Now you can't. Now it's always the case with um, Jaffa Keats. You can never quite see the colour because the dark chocolate on top stops it coming through basically. Um, so we kind of massage it out maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you can see that's what you're up against anyway. Um, so you know, we might have to just separate it a bit. It looks like it's just going to be quite an orangey colour. You can kind of see it coming through kind of, it's pretty much an orange, a light orange colour. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. You can kind of see the tint of it there. Hmm. Not much of it. Yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a passion fruity smell there if you really smell hard enough. <laughs> hmm. But only slight. You really have to uh, get your nose in there, so to speak, <laughs> to be able to smell anything. So yeah. But, all right. Well, I think, uh, yeah, I think we need to taste it. So let's do it. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> okay, once well, so yes, we have these uh, passion fruit flavored Jaffa cakes uh, taste. Yeah, so I'm mm, very excited about these ones. So I've got, uh, well, I'll start with the whole one. Why not? I want to sort of dissect it, so we'll do a whole one first. So let's, uh, mm, let's get into it. Give it a go. Mm. Mm. Well, it's definitely got a different uh, zing to it than the regular Jaffa cakes. It does have a a distinct, I mean, I'm not, I don't eat loads of passion fruit, but I've had it in yogurts and things. <laughs> um, and this definitely has that sort of taste to it, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. Not bad. I think what I'd like to see, um, well, I'll, okay, I'll start from the top. Why not? Because I think the gist of it is it's not as good as the regular Jaffa cake oranges, uh, orange Jaffa cakes. It's just not as good. It's, it's I don't know, it's got, it's got a bit of a, passion fruit flavour but it just doesn't work as well it's not strong enough really. I mean not everything else is the same it's got the same sort of typical cake base you know and the crackly dark chocolate's nice as always but uh hmm I don't know the, the passion fruit flavour is there but it's not strong enough really to to work as well as the orange flavour I wouldn't say the orange flavour is particularly strong but uh, it just it just works it's just it's just balanced perfectly in the traffic. I'm just gonna make the just the layer I peeled off from before if you watch where I um, cut it in half before. That's literally just a jelly. Hmm. Even eating just that, I don't get like a massive passion fruit flavour taste, you know. Um, I think that's the problem with really, and it's the problem with a lot of these other non-orange Jaffa cakes. They're just not quite as good as the orange one. They just, for some reason, the orange flavour they've got is just works really well with the sponge and the dark chocolate and it's just the right balance, yeah, but all the other flavours just haven't quite worked as well. It's still quite nice, this one. I'll just have the cake on its own. Hmm. Yeah, the cake on its own is very dry. It's not great, really. It needs the jelly on with it, as you can imagine. Hmm. The dark chocolate, again, is, is, you know, it's not much to it, really. It's just, but you know, coupled with the with the jelly, it's not it's not too bad. You know, it works quite well on the cake, of course. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The jelly's just not flavour, it's just not a strong flavour. Um, I'm sure it could be. For whatever reason, when they do these other flavours, they're, they're not flavoured strongly enough. And um, mm. Yeah, I'm not sure, it's just something a bit... Um, mm. it's, just, it's just not strong enough a flavour. It's not that interesting. It's not as good as the orange ones, really. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like they should perhaps do a, an assorted pack of these, where you've got orange ones, passion fruit ones, strawberry ones, all the other flavours they've done lemon ones so so you've got the the variety and you've still got the orange ones i think that's how they need to do it i think they just need to do a variety pack and i think that would make it more interesting and then you've still got the orange ones and you, you know you can pick through them all and you can just have a bit of variety of it and you, you, it makes it a bit more of an event then and a bit more interesting and something a bit more worth your time you know just at the moment you kind of think well i just want the orange one really but if you have the different flavors 
in a pack. And even though the poly ones you're not too bothered about, just having the having them in an assorted pack just makes it a bit more interesting and more worth your time in a way, more of something you'd like to experience. Whereas just having a pack of all one type, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work and it's makes it feel it makes it feel the disappointment, you know, whereas I think if you had a, an assorted pack of them, I think you'd get a bit more out of it then and feel like you're experiencing something. And even if you weren't too keen on them, you think, well, what's the next one like? You know, and it doesn't matter. You're not too bothered about them or you would prefer if you just got the orange pack, you know. So I think, um, yeah, you know, I think hmm, they're OK. Um, they're OK. You know, they're just OK. So I think it's a three out of five, basically. Just not as good as the originals. That's the same with all of these other Jaffa Cake types, I think. Um, but they're nice to experience. But this one, I think, it's just really, it's a really, it's just not a strong flavour at all. And it's really mundane, I think, in that respect. You, know, you can't really taste it. You can't really smell it. Um, I think even, I think maybe even the other ones are slightly better in Savara as you can taste them a bit more, the strawberry ones and things. But I think this one, hmm, but it's still interesting, you know. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's you know, it's just not as good. And it's, and then on its own right as well, it's not that great. It's not a strong flavour. It's hard to sort of, to, you know, it's, it's it's just it's just not that strong. It's just not strong enough a flavour, really, to make it stand out. And it's almost like you're eating... You know, Jaffa Kit with not really much flavour, and without the sort of tangy scent or whatever, um, there's not really much to a Jaffa Kit really. The rest of it's just an accompaniment. It doesn't, you know, the dark chocolate and the sponge don't stand up on their own really. They're just there with work with well with the jelly. So yeah, so disappointing really. Um, but by now not really unexpected. So yeah, but you know, three out of five. Nice to experience, but it needs to be in a variety pack I think with all the other flavours and including the orange. And I think then it would just be more enjoyable and interesting. Um. And you wouldn't feel too disappointed then. And you'd be happy to have the different types. So yeah, so three out of five. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that at least Mervitis are doing different types. There is that at least. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we enjoyed that review. Go follow on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, check out the YouTube uh, member program as well. It'd be a great way to support the channel. Get some extra content as well, depending on the tier you pick. Um, yeah, check out the Discord as well. There's a link in the description, probably in the comments as well. I think I'll put that at the top and I'll pin it to the top. Great to see you there. Great way to get in touch with me. Um, but either way, have a great day. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care. Bye for now. See you later. Bye.